Hi, in this video I continue with the free select tool. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm going to skip the ellipse select tool because the options are pretty much the same as the rectangle select tool. So the keyboard shortcut for the free select tool is F. So you can make a selection with this tool in a couple of ways. One of the ways is to click and hold down the mouse button, then start drawing freely like this and then you can close the selection by going over the starting point you'll get this yellow circle release and you have the selection the other way is to just click without holding down the mouse button and you'll get this line I can click again click one more time then mouse over the starting point of the selection and I'm going to make a selection in the shape of a triangle you can also combine these two for example here I'm going to click and hold down the mouse button and I'm going to draw freely like this then I'm going to release and drag a line click here make another line then start drawing freely again and close the selection once the selection is made we can move it with the ALT key hold down the ALT key you get the move icon and we can position the selection also you can move segments of the selection for example if I click here click over here and here now I can mouse over this circle and when it becomes yellow I can grab it and move this segment I can also double click on this point instead of closing the selection by mousing over the starting point I can just double click on this last point and the selection will auto close one more thing that we can do is if I click here here and here and for example I'm going to make one more click over here now I can grab any of these existing points and move them so you can mouse over any of these click hold down the mouse button and then you can position this point let's try another one and once we are ready we can close the selection now here in the tool options you see that we have very few options for the free select tool and all of them are also found in the rectangle select tool so there's no need to discuss them again if you have missed the videos on the rectangle select tool you can find them in my channel and the free select tool is one of the most useful select tools in GIMP I have used it many times in my photo editing tutorials so that's it for this one I hope that it was useful visit my channel for more if you want to bye for now